This video is going to show you how to convert between radians and degrees. So on the reference sheet for Algebra 2 Common Core is these two formulas. Radians, one radian is equal to 180 over pi degrees, and one degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. So how do we use them? Converting from degrees to radians, we're going to leave our answer in terms of pi. So when I see this, that means my answer has to have pi in it, so don't put pi in the calculator. So I am going from degrees to radians. So I'm going to start by copying down my degree formula from my reference sheet. So this bottom formula here. So one degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. I know that for sure. It's definition. But I want to know how many is 45 degrees. So I want to make my 1 degree into 45 degrees. So I'm going to multiply this side by 45. So on the left side, I'm going to get 45 degrees equals. Now, it's an equation. So if I do something to the left side, I have to do it to the right side. So I'm going to multiply this side by 45. Now, we're leaving pi in the answer, so I'm not putting it in my calculator. So that means there's really an imaginary 1 here. So I'm going to leave pi in my answer. And in my calculator, I'm going to do alpha y equals 1 over 180, because I can't put the pi in, times 45. And I'm going to get 1 over 4. But I know that it's really 1 pi over 4. So my answer is pi over 4. You can leave it as the 1 pi over 4 if you'd like. It's up to you. So let's do the next one, 33 degrees. So I know for sure that one degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. I'm going to multiply each side by 33. So 33 degrees is equal to, in my calculator, alpha y equals 1 over 180 times 33. 11 over 60, which is really 11 pi over 60. And I have two more examples. 240, so 1 degree is equal to pi over 180, multiplied by 240 on the left, 240 on the right. So 240 degrees is equal to, once again, remember that there's an imaginary 1 in front. So in my calculator, 1 over 180 times 240. And if I move this out of the way, 4 pi over 3 is going to be my answer because I have to put the pi back in. The last one, negative 135. So I still know for sure 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. Multiply the left side by negative 135. But if I multiply the left, I have to multiply the right because it's an equation, so I have to keep it balanced. So negative 135 degrees in my calculator, alpha y equals 1 over 180 times negative 135. Negative 3 fourths, so in my calculator, that's what it told me, but in my answer, I have to have negative 3 fourths pi over 4 because I have to bring that pi down. So that's from degrees to radians. Let's take a look at the opposite direction. So from radians to degrees. Convert from radians to degrees, round to the nearest degree if necessary. So whenever you're rounding, that means you can put pi in the calculator if you need to. Oops, put pi in the calculator. So I'm starting with radians. So I'm going to go back to my reference sheet. I'm now using this formula. I know that one radian is equal to 180 over pi degrees. So one radian is equal to 180 over pi degrees. 
I don't have one radian. I have negative pi over 3 radians. So I'm going to multiply this side by negative pi over 3. But remember, it's an equation. So if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other. So on the left side, I'm going to get negative pi over 3 radians is equal to, if you notice on the right-hand side, your pi's are going to cancel because one is on the top and one is on the bottom. So I have ones left. So in my calculator, I'm going to do 180 times negative, and I have one-third. So I'm going to get negative 60. So negative 60 degrees. So I'm going to do it again over here. I have radians. So I know that one radian is equal to 180 degrees over pi. I don't have one radian. I have 19 pi over 17. So that's what I'm multiplying each side by. So I have... 19 pi over 17 radians is equal to, my pi's are going to cancel, so I need to do 180 times 19 over 17 in my calculator. 180 times alpha y equals 19 over 17. So it's going to give it to me as a fraction. I'm going to hit math, choice 2, because it wanted me to round if I needed to. So 201.1764, they wanted the nearest degree, so 201 degrees. Let's take a look at two more. Convert from radians to degrees. A says two radians, and we're leaving it in terms of pi. So that means don't put pi in the calculator. Leave it in your answer. So I have radians. So I know that one radian is equal to 180 over pi degrees. I don't have one radian. I have two. So I'm going to multiply the left side and the right side by two. I need to leave pi in my answer. So two radians is equal to... I'm going to leave that pi in there. So I need to do 180 times 2. 180 times 2. So 360. Because remember, this 2 is really over 1. So 360 over pi is my answer. And then the last one, 0.5 radians. Round to the nearest tenth. So this means put pi in the calculator. So 1 radian is equal to 180 degrees over pi. I don't have 1 radian. I have 0.5. So I'm going to multiply the left side by 0.5 and the right side by 0.5. So 0.5 radians is equal to pi can go in my calculator because I'm rounding. So alpha y equals 180 over pi, second, and then the arrow. So 180 over pi times 0 0.5. 28.6478 to the nearest tenth. So I have 28.6 degrees. So that's how you convert from radians to degrees and from degrees to radians.